Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap offering in the house. Give the Lord a mighty shout of praise in the house. I invite you to stand with me for this precious reading of God's anointed word. Amen. From the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, we read verses 1 through to verse 14. So that is Ezekiel chapter 37, verses 1 through to verse 14. And it reads as follows. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold, they were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, only thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, somebody say a noise, a noise. and behold a shaking, somebody say a shaking. a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone, verse 8. And when, the, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them about, but there was no breath in them. Then said he upon me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus say the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. Somebody say prophesy. Good God. And so I prophesied as he commanded me. And the breath came into them and they lived. And stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. Verse 11. Then he said unto me, son of man. These bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dry. And our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore again prophesy. And say unto them. Thus saith the Lord God. Behold. O oh my people. I will open your graves. And cause you to come up out of your graves. And bring you into the land of Israel. Somebody say prophesy. And he shall know that I am the Lord. When I, when I have opened your graves. Oh, my people, and brought you up out of your graves, verse 14, and appointed. And shall put my spirit in you, and you shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall you know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. Say the Lord, the word. I said the word of Almighty God. This message is a very timely but pertinent message. You're about to experience a deliverance like no other. The man of God is going to prophesy over your life today. And if you believe, the wind of change will blow over your health, your wealth, your relationship, your heart, your mind, and your personality. You're about to experience your ocean of opportunities. The dry bones in your life will once again come alive. This message will bring you into your divine destiny, into your divine purpose. And all you have to do today is obey the voice of the prophet. So people of God, radio, television viewers, put your blessed hands together and help me make welcome the general, the general himself, Bishop, Dr. G. G. Cooper, with his message entitled wind of change and the oceans of opportunity i repeat wind of change oceans 
of opportunity. Please receive the man of God in the care of the blessed Holy Ghost. Thank you, sir. Remain standing. Touch your neighbor and say, you have to warn it. You have to want the wind to blow over you. You can hide yourself. But that won't stop God from blowing. He's searching for people who need a lift. I come by to tell you, don't write me off. Because somebody has, the prophet, has not prophesied over me. Repeat. Repeat for those who are slow in hearing and for those who need a breakthrough. Don't write me off. The man of God has not prophesied over me. Don't write off Israel. God still love them. Don't write off Jamaica. She's still the apple of God's eye. Don't write off brother Gigi. Talk for yourself. Don't give up on me. Don't write me off. Don't shut me down. I haven't preached my last message. I haven't shouted my last shout. I haven't danced my last dance. I haven't prayed my last prayer. Go ahead and announce to the enemy. I haven't shouted my last shout. Give up your hand and tell him thanks for the wind of change, for oceans of opportunities. Spirit of the Lord God, I cry to you from Songs of Solomon 4 and verse 16. Awake, O north wind, come thou south. Blow upon your garden, your church, that the spices thereof may flow out. Let my beloved, the Holy Spirit, come into his garden and eat of my worship. Eat the pleasant spices. The Lord thanks for insight and revelation and impartation. Let preaching be easy now. Give me eyes of faith. Touch this tired body. Resurrect my spirit with Holy Ghost fire. As I prophesy, let the people receive deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. And give him 60 seconds of mighty praise. 60 seconds of mighty praise in the house. At home, wherever you are, in the prison. God bless you. Be seated. I want to greet all my viewers and listeners at General Penitentiary. Last week after the broadcast, one of my sons texted me and said, Bishop, every block a GP. Every block a GP is under divine unction. They are listening. They are watching. Let them watch the television, brother, commissioner. The guns and badness can't change them. The gospel will. God bless up GP. Give them a great big hand. Wind of change. Ocean of opportunities. This vision, brothers and sisters, and you have to pray with me. This vision illust illustrates the promise of chapter 36 of Ezekiel. New life and a new nation restored, both physically and spiritually. The dry bones are a picture of the Jews in captivity. Scattered and are like dead men. Oh, Jesus. 
The two sticks represent the reunion of the entire nation of Israel. Help yourself. Which had divided into northern and southern kingdoms after you got sense um, after some Solomon and the Rehoboam and Jeroboam the scattered exiles of both Israel and Judah would be released from their graves the graves of captivity and one day be regathered into their homeland with the Messiah as their leader. Are oh, you just praying, watching, are you praying? I'm going to take my time. This vision, part of it is yet to be fulfilled. Yet to be fulfilled. Ezekiel felt he was speaking to the dead as he preached to the exiles because they were really responding to his messages. Some of you really responding to the anointing of the Holy Ghost. But Ezekiel said these bones will be brought back from the dead. And he would bring life again to his people which were as dead folks. Pray with me. Israel has been a beaten down, battered, scattered nation. But God loves Israel. And he still has somewhat with Israel. Israel was scattered throughout the entire globe. But on the 14th of May, 1948 say 1948 14th of May 1948 Israel became a nation and they announced their independence the nation of Israel was born was birth on the 14th of May 1948 listen to this the very day Israel announced her independence, she was attacked on the same day. The armies of Egypt, Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq struck. They combined together. They attacked Israel, the nation that was one day old. But Israel fought back. Good God Almighty, help me, Jesus, to preach this message. I said, Israel fought back. What do I mean? When you command a diabolical attack, don't sit down and play dead. Woman, you better wake up and fight back. Some of you, you're not in a fighting mood, so I'm not looking at you. Because I'll commit murder. So let me come back in the pulpit. However, <laughs> Israel's army was under one single command. Touch your neighbor and tell them I'm under one single command. One God. This provided, this proved to be very important. Israel was victorious and came out a winner on all fronts. Egypt signed a peace settlement in February 1949. And over the next few months, Lebanon, Jordan and Syria did the same combined in peace 1949 Iraq 
simply withdrew its forces and signed no settlement. Israel continued to survive and grow economically, militarily. And the Jew, the Arabs are Israel's brother. Did you know the Arabs? They are Israel's half brother. Ishmael. But they are at war. Pray with me. 1967 again. <laughs> Egypt. Syria. And Jordan. Concocted to strike Israel. So the Syrians came down. From the mountains. From the Sinai. Egypt came over the Sinai Peninsula. The Gaza Strip. Let me put that again. <laughs> Egypt came out over the Suez Canal. Pray with me. Syria came down the Golden Heights. Jordan came up the Jordan Valley. And the three of them concocted to wipe out Israel. But God. And Israel fought back. Israel took the Sinai Peninsula. Took Gaza. Took East, East Jerusalem. Took the Golden Heights. And drove back the enemy. Tell somebody you gotta drive back the enemy. I was not called and anointed to be defeated. Because Jesus is a winner man all the time. Somebody praise him. Bear with me. So God again help Israel and I can't go into much detail. Because time won't allow me. The 1973 October 6 Syria attack Israel's forces in the Sinai Peninsula and the Golden Heights Egypt and Syria launched surprise attack on Israel in October advancing into occupying the Golden Heights and the Sinai but through it all we learn to trust in Jesus and let me quote America military, military airlift to Israel was what helped them. President Nixon was then the president of the United States. Nixon, uh, Kissinger. Henry Kissinger was a secretary of state. And they said it's the closest behind the Cuban Missile Crisis that America and, it, and Russia came to use nuclear war. The war was so intensified, God help me, that America thought Israel would lose. But the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob intervened supernaturally and gave Israel the victory for the lion of Judah shall break every chain and give us the victory again and again tell yourself I'm anointed to win I'm not called as a loser and the government of hell shall not cannot will not prevail against the people of the living God give him glory so 
So with American airlift, the war was over in six days. Egypt and Syria lost 8,500 soldiers, while Israel lost 2,600. But even if I have to take a licking, I'll keep on ticking. Good God, am I preaching? Am I preaching to somebody here? Talk to yourself and even if I take a licking. I'll keep on ticking but I'm anointed to win I'm anointed to whip devils and demons I'm anointed to take out Philistines anointed to take out Jebusites Hivites and Perizzites come on somebody no let's settle down and get from Kamanash I'm gonna ride like a madman with the time I have left, sit down. The hand of the Lord was upon me. And he carried me away into the spirit. And he carried me and showed me Israel as dry bones in the valley. Lots, millions, thousands and millions of people are being carried away by devils and demons carried away with fashion till they don't even know how to dress. Pray with me, huh? Carried away by music till they're out of their mind. Carried away by lust till man start go to bed with man and woman going to bed with woman I don't have anybody praying for me carried away politically carried away economically carried away morally but Ezekiel said the hand of the law if you ever get the hand of God come on son give me some power down here if you ever get the hand of God upon your life and if you ever get the spirit to carry you away John said I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and he took me to a great high mountain and he showed me the, the bride the lamb's wife adorned for a husband prepared as a bride for a husband coming down out of heaven prepared for God say Lord carry me away and show me eschatology the doctrine of last things carry me away and let me prophesy carry me away and let me see things that only angels know about carry me away and let me understand what you're doing in this hour carry me away and show me the end of the wicked oh god am i preaching am i preaching can i find can i find anybody to preach to can i find anybody to preach to can i find anybody to preach to sit on a while Ezekiel said he carried me away and when he took me I saw Israel just like we're seeing some of the dead churches today stained glass window prison full of dead men religious cemetery no noise no praise no worship no energy no anointing they are in a they are in a valley filled up filled with dead bones step back son i'm gonna preach your duty is to pray that's all your duty is to pray for the man of god 
we're not spectators we're prayer warrior i'm dealing with devils and demons now and i don't want no i don't want no tourists around me i want people who are moving in the holy ghost i don't want no television cameras your eyes become television cameras i don't want no television cameras on me except those that are assigned to pick me up i want worshipers i want people who are being carried away by the anointing of the holy ghost come out of your flesh come out of your flesh come out of carnality and tell the lord carry me away and he caused me to enter God said I'm going to do 14 14 things Ezekiel said when I look there were dry bones dry very dry a church without the spirit is dry very dry a preacher without the anointing is dry very dry a choir without the anointing is dry very dry a nation without God is dry very dry a parliament without God is dry very dry and as he can look and when he looked he said I saw them they were like dead men dry bones and I hear the Lord speaking to me said and the Lord said is he killed brother GG and I say yes Lord and he said can Jamaica live can Israel live and I said thou God you know you know tell the Lord you know all about me you know I'm very dry but if you breathe on me if you blow on me if you blow on me if you blow on me god almighty if you blow on me i am going to live i'm going to live And he says, Ezekiel, prophesy, prophesy, prophesy. Brother Gigi, what you come to do? I come to prophesy. What are you doing with that microphone? I come to prophesy, prophesy. Oh, breath of God, oh, anointing of God, prophesy on them dead bones over there prophesy on them dead dry bones and say live if some of you worship your fierce crop if some of you smile your fierce crop because you have no joy you have no praise you have no victory you're dead you're dry very dry Open your mouth and prophesy. Look over your house and prophesy. Prophesy over your loved ones. Prophesy over your children. Prophesy over your finance. Prophesy over your marriage. Prophesy over your bishop. Prophesy over your brethren. Prophesy over your neighbor. And said in the name of Jesus Christ, live. I don't feel no anointing coming down there. Sit down, children. You come a temple of praise number eight. Seven is God's number of perfection. 
8 is new beginning if you come at Templar praise and you can't live that means God don't know you if you stay under my ministry and you can't feel no energy that means you don't know God you don't know the Holy Ghost and you don't know what God is and who God is prophesy GG GG prophesy He said, what must I prophesy? He said, ye dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord your God. And when you hear the word, Jesus said, the word I speak unto you. John 6, 36, their spirit and their life. He said, when you prophesy, you need a little back up. He said, Come on, the east wind to join you. Come on, the west wind to join you. Come on, the north wind and the south wind to join you. And when them four winds, when them four winds come together, preacher, he said, Tell them to blow, blow. No. No. Oh wind of God no. Oh breath of God no. Blow over them dead dry bones Sitting over on the right no. Them dead dry bones sitting on the left no. Them dead dry bones In the, uh, in the balcony no. Them dead bones round the bishop no. Blow on them dead bones Blow 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 Spirit Of the living God Spirit of the living God Blow 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 over that dead one watching me Blow over them dead ones around here Blow 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 Sit down a minute. And when you blow, tell them live. Your business, if you want to help yourself, you can sit down with your back, hold them. Devil, hell, spirit, I don't care who you are. You can fraud like a frog. Help yourself. Grit your, grit your, pro like a bull call your business. I'm prophesying. You can knit your brow like a bull call your business. Prophesy. And say unto those stubborn repulsive dry bones live. You old dead dried out church. You old dead dried out preacher. I come on the broadcast. Come on preachers that have life help me preach. Live, live, tell your congregation, live, tell Israel, live, tell the wicked, I come to prophesy, and when I prophesy, something go happen, something is gonna happen, something is gonna happen, something is gonna happen. Sit down. Quickly. Firstly, I'm going to cause breath to enter into you and you shall live. Verse number five. I will cause breath, breath is life, to enter into you and you shall live. Have five that dead head beside you and tell them God said live. Get up and I find that dead one and say, God said, live. Sit down, please. You think I come to play church today? I come to rip the coals over. 
and let you know if you don't receive this prophesied prophecy you're going to die in your sins live secondly I'm going to lay flesh upon you sinews upon you say live grab your neighbor and say God say you must live live in your live in live even when you don't feel like live when all hell coming against you live when they criticize you and tear you down live when they speak against you live when they cut the high against you still live when you say you don't like Bishop Gigi I'm still going to prophesy thirdly I'm going to bring flesh upon you sit down children touch your neighbor and say the flesh of God is coming to you some of you maga in the spirit you know me guy you maga you're fleshy and look good you have hips and bumper you got legs and tie but in the spirit you're just maga you don't have no praise you don't have no anointing you don't have no grace you don't have no worship you're just maga excuse my terminology prophesy don't worry about my language preach I'm talking to God not you I will bring flesh upon you I will cause breath to enter into you I will lay sinews upon you and I will cover you with skin I will cover you with my glory I will cover you with my worship I will cover you with my anointing I will cover you with divine revelation somebody hollow in the house cover me cover me prophesy prophesy and say Lord cover me prophesy and say Lord let sinews let bread come upon me then fourthly fifthly I will put bread into you God's church must have bread bread is life God's church must have energy Holy Ghost energy God's church must have fire fire Holy Ghost fire I'm just sick and tired of your dead head dry bones satisfied with your dead dried up stained religion dead and recycled preachers recycled congregation God said I'm gonna do a new thing remember not the farmer thing behold I will do a new thing I will cause bread 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 to enter into you and you shall live stand everybody on your feet Thank you, preacher. Give up your hand and worship. Press your neighbor and say, Live in the name of Jesus Christ. Live. I don't care what you say about GG. You need me. This country needs me. My nation needs me. Government, you better understand you need a man of God over this country with a clear cut anointing for these uncertain times. You need the prophet of God with a word in his mouth. Leave Jamaica. I'm praying for the parish of St. Catherine. I realize we have to take them one by one. So much diabolical demonic forces. That we can't pray for two at the same time. Shall we pray over Spanish town, the main town. The largest parish in Jamaica. The bloodthirsty parish. But my present is affecting the, the parish. Revival time is cutting roads and making an impact on our society. Portmore lynched at your turn. Bog walk stand by your turn. 
stand by all other warriors stand by put more warriors stand by Linstead warriors stand by get up out of your bed stand up around your bed in the living room turn down the stove march pen road high spen Bella Vega city I don't see any of you coming to church judgment is over your community run for your life destruction diabolical force is over your neighborhood run for your life Thompson Penn Lariston Tredega Park where you cut out man and woman head the blood of Jesus bind that up are you there warriors are you going to sleep I'm praying over in some city angels I'm praying over walks road shelter rock I'm praying over Spanish Town Hospital Linstead Hospital Spanish Town Police Station Linstead Police Station wake up officer hundred man Portmore wake up Helsha Slagoville Spanish Town Market and many many more Spanish Town High School San Diego High Jonathan Grand High Whole Arbor High Spanish Town Primary Ensom City Primary St. Catherine Primary and many more wake up danger is in the wind oh breath of God open up your mouth oh breath of God blow 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 over St. Catherine blow against wickedness blow against violence blow against necromancy blow against food and shudu blow against witches and warlocks blow against blood men gunmen wicked men rapists and gangsters blow Oh, breath of God, breath of God. Come on, church. Save the loss and bring home the backslider. Heal and deliver Jamaica. Spanish town, St. Catherine. Bless revival time. Standing as a beacon in a darkened world. Loose the warriors across the nation. Bring them out in Jesus Christ's name. Throw up your hands with a mighty praise. Come in, Lord, like the rushing of a mighty wind. Come in, like the rushing of a mighty wind. I'm out of time, but not out of revelation. Got to leave you on revival time this week. Clarendon, join me next week for your prayer until I rejoin you from Temple of Praise. Your TV radio pastor, Brother Gigi, along with my cameraman, my technical men, and the Revival Time family, telling you we thank you for joining us this morning. We're praying for you and your family, Spanish Town Security, Kingston High Security, everywhere. Write me, text me this week. This month is television month. I need to hear from you you let this program go out the here you'll find out you that want the slot you'll never get it in the name of Jesus be blessed be delivered be strengthened in Jesus name in Jesus name Amen Amen Amen